like mom's nightmare as a child as a cook. Um, I wanted burnt tombstone pizzas, and I would sabotage recipes. I broke my neighbor's um, Easy Bake oven, and um, I would always get sick on cookie dough because I would just eat. I'd had to eat all the cookie dough. So, um, um, you know, I was a terrible cook as a kid. Puma because I don't have a driver's license and I have not driven a car in 10 years. Well, no, I did yesterday here. Shh. I think everyone's go-to ingredient would be bacon or give them a free drink. <laughs> that would probably be the best way to save a dish. I'm very against foam. I think um, my... I don't know, foam occurs in nature, like, you know, they, we call it pig snot on a river where it gets all foamy mm -hmm. when it's all churning. That's what I, th when I see that on a plate, that's what I think of is just like fermenting river. And I don't think it needs to be done no matter how many flavors you make. It's still nasty. And it makes you burp and it tastes like nothing. Invulnerable. That, you know, no matter, no matter what is thrown at me, I'm, I'm, I'm unbreakable right now. It's, you know, so it, it's still going to hurt, but you're still, I'm never going to stop working. The, the guests are different every year, and no matter what, they're always so nice. There's something about this place that just literally, you just shed all pretense. You shed um, where, wherever you've come from, whatever big city you've come from here. It's just, everyone's just so relaxed and so happy. when you come into a new environment with a whole bunch of new people that don't necessarily know who you are or what your style is to really try and communicate what your vision is and you know how you cook and, and you know I cook for people and I don't want to I don't put food on a plate and put it in front of someone to tell me how, how good I am it's, it's like this is a gift for you mm -hmm.